Hello friend, in today's video we will see how to design and create the protein simulation for LDR sensor with Raspberry Pi. So in this project we will see circuit diagram of LDR sensor with Raspberry Pi also and we also see the Python program. So I request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about uh, LDR sensor also, Python program also and Raspberry Pi circuit also. So let's see what will be the final output first of this project. So you can see in our project uh, we have LDR sensor circuit, we have LCD circuit and we have bulb circuit. So once we run the project then it will show the light intensity and bulb status. So now currently we, uh, you can see the bulb status is bulb off because our torch is near to our LDR sensor. So light intensity is very high. It is above, uh, above 100. So once I, uh, once I increase the distance between the torch and LDR sensor by pressing this switch and this uh, uh, then light intensity reduced below 100 so once the light intensity below the 100 then the, uh, the then this bulb will automatically turn on so please focus on bulb and please focus on my this switch so as soon as i increase the distance between the torch and ldr sensor then light intensity will reduce bulb on message print on the lcd and you can see bulb is start glowing and also relay will turn on as soon as i decrease the distance between the torch and ldr sensor then this light intensity will increase above 100 and this relay will turn off as, and then bulb also turn off so you can see i i decrease the distance between the torch and the ldr sensor then light intensity will increase then bulb will turn off and bulb will turn off here and relay also turn off so we will see how to create this type of project in Proteus software and we will also see the programming each and every line from the program. So I request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about circuit design also and the source code also. Before start the next part I request you please subscribe my channel you can see currently I have 459 subscriber and to monetize my channel I require 1000 subscriber and 4000 watch hour and this only possible because of you so please support me if you like my content then please subscribe my channel also click on the bell icon so as soon as i upload my video you will get notification and you will not miss anything from me and you will learn definitely many things about raspberry pi from me so please subscribe my channel and please watch and uh, watch each and every video uh, I will add all the video link in the description so you will find all the video from the description so currently you can see I have uploaded more than 40 videos on Raspberry Pi and this video starting from the hardware also then some Proteus simulation also then some there is some IoT uh, program also there is some web application program also so if you want to learn all this program all this uh, Raspberry Pi hardware program all this uh, hardware connection then please subscribe my channel and watch each and every video okay if you want to create a new project in a Proteus software just go to the Proteus software icon right click on this icon and click on run as administrator then click on yes Proteus software required the administrator per, uh, permission for your, uh, from your laptop so that it will start working then if you want to create a new project click on new project then give your project name LDR then give, give your path then click on next button then uh, select create schematic then click on next button then select do not create a PCB layout then click on next button then select the create firmware project and go to the family and click on raspberry pi and click on next and click on finish so you can see once you click on finish there are two window open schematic capture and source code in source code window we will create we will write our program and schematic capture we will design our circuit so first part of our circuit is lcd module so if you want to select the lcd module go to the compound mode then click on p and type here 16 cross 2 so once you type 16 cross 2 click on this lcd and place that lcd here then you can see first first part is you have to connect rw pin to the ground so if you want to select the ground go to the terminal mode then click on then click on ground and place that ground here then connect that ground to here now next part is you have to connect the rs pin to the gpio 4 now if you want to create uh, connect that pin to gpio 4 go to the terminal mode then click on default then place default pin here then right click on this default pin select rotate anti clockwise place the default pin in front of rs then connect that pin to here 
then double click on this pin and give here name gpio4 you can see this gpio4 should be identical with this gpio4 then click on ok now next part is you have to connect the enable pin to gpio17 again repeat the same process go to terminal mode then click on default place the default pin here right click on this pin rotate anti clockwise connect that pin to enable pin double click on this pin give your name gpio17 click on ok now next part is you have to connect d4 d5 d6 and d7 to gpio 18 27 23 and 20 22 and 23 respectively uh, repeat the same process go to terminal mode click on default now we uh, we will select four pin at a time now select all this pin right click on this pin rotate anti clockwise then move that pin in front of d4 d5 d6 d7 connect that pin one by one then double click on this pin and give here name gpio18 click on ok next part is double click on this pin gpio27 then click on this pin give your name gpio22 and last pin that, that is d7 pin should be connected to gpio 23 now in this way we have completed the lcd model with our raspberry pi now next part is we have to connect the ldr sensor with raspberry pi now for ldr sensor we require external adc model because raspberry pi do not have the inbuilt adc ic so we will uh, we will select mcp320 at ic mcp 3208 click on ok and place that I see here now you can see this IC is uh, work on SPI communication so you have to connect the whatever Raspberry Pi SPI communication pin with this pin uh, because this ADC model work on the SPI communication now again repeat the same process if you want to uh, if you want to connect clock pin with this clock pin go to a terminal mode then click on default and place that default pin here right click on this pin rotate 180 degree same uh, repeat four, uh, 4 times select default pin here right click on this pin rotate and 180 degree again go to terminal mode click on default place that default pin here then right click on this pin rotate anti-clockwise sorry rotate 180 degree then go to terminal mode click on default and place that default pin here rotate 180 degree then connect one by one all this pin here then connect clock pin of this IC to the clock pin of Raspberry Pi double click on this pin give your name CLK click on OK now D in pin of this IC that is input pin for this IC should be connected to Raspberry Pi output pin Raspberry Pi output pin is nothing but master out slave in so double click on this pin give your name master out slave in click on OK now D out pin of this IC should be connected to Raspberry Pi input pin that is master in layout so double click on this pin give your name master in layout click on ok then chip select pin should be connected to cs pin so double click on this pin give your name cs click on ok now uh, next part ground pin of this ic should be connected to ground so go to terminal mode click on ground and place that ground here then connect that ground to this ground then v reference should be connected to positive supply so if you want to select the positive supply go to a generated mode click on dc place the dc pin here connect the dc pin to v reference double click on this pin give your name 3.3 click on ok now in this way we have completed the mcp320 model with raspberry pi the reason behind this we have selected model because uh, raspberry pi do not have uh, inbuilt adc uh, model so uh, an ldr sensor send the signal in analog signal so to convert that analog signal into digital form we require a to d converter so that we have select the mcp320 ic now next part is you have to connect the ldr sensor at the input pin of ch0 so if you want to select the ldr sensor go to the component mode click on p and type here ldr so once you type ldr select this torch ldr and click on ok and place that ldr here now next part is you have to connect the pin number one of ldr sensor to vcc so if you want to select the vcc go to the generated mode click on dc and place that dc supply here now connect that dc supply to one number pin now double click on the dc supply and give here name uh, and give here voltage 3.3 click on ok now next part of this pin should be connected to ground so go to the terminal mode 
we click on ground and place the ground here and connect that ground to this pin now uh, channel 0 of this pin that is ADC pin should be connected to middle one between ground and the part 2 now in this way we have completed the LDR sensor circuit now next part is you have to connect the bulb and relay module so if you want to select the relay go to the component mode then click on P and type here relay so once you type here uh, once you type relay click on this relay animated relay module click on ok and place that relay module here now double click on this relay module and give here voltage 5 volt because raspberry pi send the signal in 0 or 5 volt so this relay should be work on the 5 volt so that we have given here 5 volt so one pin of relay should be connected to gpio 24 number so go to terminal mode then click on default and place uh, and place that pin here now connect that pin to here now double click on this pin and give your name gpio 24 then click on ok now next part of this relay should be connected to ground so again go to terminal mode then click on ground and place that ground pin here now connect that ground pin to here okay now next part uh, the bulb model should be connected to this point so again go to terminal mode and click on p and type here bulb so once you type bulb uh, take this bulb animated light bulb click on ok and place that bulb here now one point uh, one point of this bulb should be connected to this pin of relay and another point of this pin should be connected to vcc so go to a generated mode click on sign and place that sign here sign supplier because this is ac bulb and click on connect this pin here now double click on this sign and give here l attitude uh, amplitude 220 and click on ok now next point of this bulb should be connected to ground so go to again terminal mode then click on ground and place that ground here now connect that ground to now connect that ground to ground okay so in this way we have completed the all our circuit necessary circuit okay now next part is uh, if you want to give the square box for this relay or for this uh, bulb model or this uh, ADC model then go to the square then click on pin and take a pin now you can see square box is given to bulk model and if you want to give the name go to the A and click on P and click on click on here and give your name bulk model click on uh, you can increase the size with this click on bold and click on ok now you can see bulk model and square box also given to your relay model or bulk model so uh, in circuit diagram we have missed one point so you can see uh, between uh, so between second number pin and ground there should be register so if you want to connect that register go to the compound mode then click on p and give here name register then select uh, this register and click on ok uh, select this register another register and click on ok and place that register here and right click on this register click on rotate anti clockwise or clockwise place that register here then connect that register to ground again to between this point so it will create the voltage uh, voltage divider circuit now uh, this circuit is completed so first line is input SPI dev so uh, you can see for LDR model we will select a, we, uh, we have selected the external ADC IC and that ADC IC work, works on the SPI protocol so that we have import here SPI dev now next line is import time so if you want to add some delay in your code then you can require this library then import os if there is any os operation then you require this library then import gpio dot uh, gpio port for uh, relay model you can see and for lcd model we will use gpio pin so that we have include here gpio library now next part is gpio dot set mode gpio board so you can see raspberry pi can work as a two method as a raspberry pi board or raspberry pi bcm chip so if you want to select as the raspberry pi complete board then you can use the gpio board method then gpio dot set warning to the false whenever you run the code raspberry pi gives you warning that whatever the gpio pin you have used is already used before so to avoid that warning you should use this line now next line is SPI dev uh, SPI is equal to SPI dev so if you want to use the SPI package you need SPI variable so to create the SPI variable this line is used now we will open the SPI communication with this line now next part is LCD RS pin to the 7 now you can see from the LCD model we have connected the RS pin to the GPIO 4 
and this GPA of 4 is nothing but the 7 number pin of Raspberry Pi. So that we have given here, so that we have given here G RS pin to the 7. Likewise, we have given I enable D4, D5, D6, and D7. Now bulb pin to the 18. Now you can see relay module. We have given the input as a GPA 24. Now GPA 24 should be connected to 18 number. So that we have declared here bulb pin to the 18. Now there is a temp channel to the 0. Now you can see uh, our uh, LDR output is connected to channel 0 of ADC model. So that we have declared here temp channel 0. Now next line is there is some delay. We will see this later. Now next line is gpr.setup uh, lcd enable pin to gpr.out. Now you can see if you want to print any message on the LCD pin Raspberry Pi send signal to the LCD pin. So all the GPR pin from the LCD act as the output pin. So that we have declared all the pin as a output pin. Uh, likewise we have declared the bulb pin also output pin with this logic gpr.set mode then pin number gpr.out. Equals and ELRA this basically the uh, variable which is used to create delay we will see later what is use of this variable send delay 1 it is again the variable uh, now ok now next point is they are define the lcd pin so you can see L lcd rs pin is connected to 29 number as per the code uh, let's see the schematic so in schematic we have connected uh, rs pin to 22 number you can see here gpi 22 so this gpi 22 but this gpi 22 is nothing but the bcm uh, bcm chip uh, number we have selected raspberry pi as a board so on board it is uh, 15 number so you have to go here and change 15 number now next part is uh, lcd enable pin to 31 number so enable pin as per schematic we have uh, selected 23 number so here 23 number but uh, as per board it is 16 number so give here 16 number So next part is uh, D4 pin that is GPI 4 pin. This is connected to GPI 4 that is 7 number. So here should be the 7 number. Then next part is uh, D5 that is connected to 17 number. So here is 17 number that is 11 number uh, as per the board. So you can see here 11 number D5. Then D6 is 12 and D6, uh, D7 is 13. So you can see D6 is connected to 18 number that is 12 and D7 is connected to 27, uh, 27 number that is 13 so as per the code we have connected all this pin now next part is we have to set that uh, all this pin that is raspberry pi pin as output pin because uh, raspberry pi sends send signal on lcd pin that means that gpi pin work as output pin so declare that pin as output pin you have to use this syntax gpi.set mode pin name then gpi.out so in this case all these pins are our output pins. So we have set all this pin here as output pin. So next part is uh, define uh, some device uh, like uh, what is the length of uh, length of your LCD that is it is 16 by 2 LCD. So that we have selected here LCD width is 16. Then character 2 LCD command is followed we will see the use of this variable later. Then line number 1 is 18 line number 2 is C0. So if you want to send some signal on LCD on uh, first line that is 16 by 2 there are two line two rows first row and second row so if you want to send on first row you can use this syntax LCD uh, 80 and if you want to send some signal that is some message on second row you can send C0 so we will see later what is use of this variable so first line is what you, uh, is executed in program is LCD init function so you can see LCD init function is here. So here first one is LCD init function. In LCD init function we have to send some command so that you, our, our LCD gets work. So this command is nothing but uh, start the LCD, uh, take the uh, take the uh, initial to first row only, uh, message should be uh, printed on first row only. All this command you can see all this command and you will see uh, you will get details of this command on google you can search the lcd command you can easily find the importance of each and every command uh, so main important part of this is uh, to how to send this lcd command uh, from raspberry pi on your lcd so there is function lcd dot byte uh, then you have to pass the command and lcd command so the lcd command is nothing but the variable we have declared already here lcd command to the false so uh, we will see this what is what is this function 
so lcd command it is jump to this lcd byte then after that here is select gpa dot output i lcd rs pin mode so what what is mode we have sent here mode as a lcd comma so means this is the command mode so whenever there is a command mode you have to select rs pin and that rs pin should be uh, the uh, raspberry pi should send the zero signal on that rs pin so you can see lcd command mode this is variable and this variable has a value false so whenever you are sending the command on lcd you have to send rs to zero that is rs zero signal on rs pin so that we have already create function lcd byte send command and lcd command this is nothing but zero automatically send on rs pin with this function gpo dot output lcd rs to zero then after that we have to send the data so data is nothing but this is a eight byte of data you can see this is by eight byte of data but in our schematic we have uh, we use the four byte pins uh, four pin so uh, we have to segregate our data into four four byte so that we use another logic so once this signal 33 number sent to lc byte it comes here then first part is uh, send set the command as a command mode then gpr dot output all these our four pin should be selected to false by default d4 d5 d6 d7 should be the false they uh, this means that the zero signal sent on the lcd d4 d4 d d4 d5 d6 d7 by default the next line is if bits ending with 0 1 0 that is higher byte is, is is equal equal to uh, 1 0 so let's say uh, this is 33 number if you so first we have to send the 33 number 33 data or uh, command on lcd so in 33 we have to first aggregate the higher byte first and then lower byte first so you can see this is our higher bytes and this is our lower byte so uh, from the higher byte we have to send the d4 first so to send the d4 byte first we have to masking with 10 so after masking with 10 you can see the d4 by bits get one value so if that value is 1 then we have to send one signal on d4 so that one again shifted to the d5 then again masking with 20 and if the value is 20 then we have to send the one signal on fifth number of lcd bit so this logic applied to each and every pin d6 and d7 so once that a higher uh, once they are uh, this higher by uh, bits get executed say on lcd we have to shift the same logic to the uh, lower bits so again lower bits we have to send d4 first then d5 d6 and d7 but in that case the masking is 0 cross 0 1 so we will see the code so first we are sending 33 then the lcd bytes get here then 33 mode is command because we are sending command then gpr dot output uh, lcd rs pin to the mode that is mode is command that is zero that means a uh, zero signal send on the rs pin then by default we have to send the zero signal on each and every pin d4 d5 d6 d7 after that we are checking is first bit uh, masking with one zero is equal to one zero if one zero then we have to send d4 to the true if that is not equal to one zero then we have to send already send false signal from here then second bytes from the higher bits two zero if this value is two zero after masking then we have to send d5 to true then ter third byte four zero then d6 to true and then last byte d7 byte if we are masking is eight zero then we have to send d7 to true if any of this condition false then we are we already send the false signal so once you send the higher by higher signal you have to toggle the enable pin so to toggle the enable pin we are using this logic lc toggle enable so in that logic we have to uh, pass the high low signal on the enable pin so to pass the high low signal this is a logic time dot slip first we are sending some delay then gpr dot output enable pin to a true so it will send high signal on enable pin then time dot slip to the pulse then it is sending some time slip then gpr dot output lcd enable pin to a false it is sending the zero signal on a lcd enable pin then after some delay so it will toggle the pin so once you send the higher bits we have, we have to send the lower bits again so same logic will apply first we have to so we have to uh, send the zero signal on each and every pins d4 d5 d6 then again masking with 0 1 so in this case is 0 1 uh, we are first masking with 1 0 because it's higher bit and this is the lower bit because uh, because this is lower bit we have to send 0 1 so if the value is 0 1 uh, then we have to send lcd d4 pin to the true value same for the d5 d6 d7 
So in this case, we are sending the data on LCD pin. After sending the data lower bits, we have to again toggle the pin with a toggle function. So this is the basic idea behind how to send the data on LCD. So once LCD get initialized, the next part is we have to send the welcome uh, function, welcome message on LCD uh, line number one. So we have already defined LCD line number one variable, which is nothing but the zero value. So LCD dot string welcome. So welcome is nothing but the array. So each array is divided into again one byte with uh, with their index. So index zero contain W, index one contain E, L contain second index, then C. So this iteration we will do with by the for loop. So first go to the LCD string function. So in the LCD string function, there is a message that is welcome and line is line number one. So first we have to calculate the width of that message with this function. So once you calculate the width, we have we have to uh, we have to tell uh, LCD that this is a uh, uh, this message has to print on line number one by using this command line command so line command get execute with lcd byte same logic will after same logic will execute then next is we have to iterate the welcome message to iterate the welcome message we will use for loop for i in the range of lcd width so i is not starting with zero and it uh, incrementing one two three four till lcd width what uh, what will be the uh, length of this uh, message so let's say first i is equal to zero so lcd byte function get execute with parameter message of i so i is zero then message of i is zero not, nothing but the w then lcd character then we are uh, we are passing the character to the lcd byte so that lcd with uh, uh, so that rs pin set to one and then our message get print once the w is sent on the lcd we have to send the e so i, I increment to one then E will send and uh, same with the same logic all the message send on the LCD. Now, okay, uh, after welcome message printed, while one will be executed and whatever the code inside while one, it will execute in one number of time. Now, first line is read channel time zero. So you can see uh, LDR sensor is connected to channel zero. So whatever the output from the LDR sensor is given to channel zero and it is given to uh, SPI communication to Raspberry Pi. So if you want to, if you want Raspberry Pi, uh, if Raspberry Pi want to uh, sense that output, then we require this pin read channel temp channel. So temp channel is zero. So read channel temp channel. Then whatever the output from the LDR sensor is stored into light level variable. Later we will print LCD, uh, LCD string light intensity to channel uh, to LCD line number one. So whatever the value stored into this variable. We have to print on LCD with this logic. So next line is LCD string, then L string of light level. So light level variable, it is integer and whatever value you want to print on LCD should be string. So to convert integer value into string, we require this function as str of light level. So in this way, we have convert integer value into string. Then we have to print, then uh, we have to print uh, light level on uh, line number two of LCD. Now there is some delay. Now you can see if light level is less than 100, then we have to turn on the bulb. Also we have to print the bulb on message on line number 2. So to print any message, we will use this line. Now to turn on the bulb, then we have to turn on the relay model. So to turn on the relay model, we have to send the one signal on the GPIO 24 number pin. So if you want to send the one signal, then you require this line GPIO.output bulb pin to the true. Then some delay. So let's say if the light level is greater than 100, then in that case we have to turn off the bulb. So we will print a bulb of message on LCD and to turn off the bulb, we have to turn off the relay module. So if you want to turn off the relay module, you have to send the uh, false signal on the bulb pin. So to send the false signal, we will use gpio.output bulb pin to the false. Then there is some delay. So this is the basic logic behind your code and this is the uh, complete uh, project explanation uh, starting from the circuit diagram till programming explanation.